Hey, what's going on everybody? Suburban Legend here, bringing you guys another dual commentary. And this dual com has been about five months in the making. Uh, I got Lefty Ben here today, and we've been trying to get this done for literally the last five months. How's it going, Lefty? If, if not more than that, hey, what's up? Yeah, it's been a long, long time. Like, since way back, way back in the day when we met each other, we were talking about doing a dual com, and we've never got around to it. That was pretty funny. We did a, a full-on podcast. Actually, we've done that podcast, and then we did... However many I've done for that guy show, yep. <laughs> and we still haven't had time for the dual con. Yep. For some of you guys who don't know, um, Lefty was one of the first people I met when I started, before I was even doing YouTube, when I was doing, uh, before that guy show, I had my own podcast just called The Codcast, Talking Call of Duty, and Lefty was, I think he was one of my first guests I ever had on that show, so we go way yeah, back. Yeah, it was me and, uh, I can't remember that other guy's name, but yeah, it was, I remember that because... Uh, how it happened was, so I was a member of the Call of Duty forums, and don't ever go there because there's a bunch of retards there. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> we, I was a member of that forums, and people, uh, people, so I'm saying, sub posted. He's like, I have this, uh, you know, this podcast. If anybody wants to be on, and it was right around the time Black Ops came out, and I had Black Ops like five days early, so I was like, yeah, hey, I'll come on. I've played it, you know, for a bit, and uh, someone else came on. I can't remember his name now, but. Yeah. That was, yeah, that was cool. And that was way back when. Yeah. Right Did you before. even have a YouTube channel then? I don't think so. No, I, I started doing the uh, podcast. I was trying to get a little bit of a following before I started my YouTube channel. So by the time I could afford my PVR, I'd have a couple people, you know, who at least knew who I was. But yeah, that was way back in the day. Still worked out. Yeah. But uh, anyways, but we got some uh, lefties gameplay going on in the background, some COD 4 here, and then we have a little Modern Warfare 2 coming up next. And we are uh, planning on talking a little bit about uh, kill-death ratio and how we think it should be handled in Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, I mean, I've always said that kill-death ratio shouldn't even be displayed in a game because it, um, well, I mean, you agree with that, right? Like, it just, it takes away from, you know, people running around and getting kills. They, they just worry about what their stat is. It really does, especially when, you know, the average Call of Duty player is, uh, you know, a teenager in high school and kill death ratio is one of the things they compare with all their friends at school and everything so it's it's a major determining factor for the way a lot of these people play i i yeah 100 percent agree with you there and you know it's i don't know i just don't think uh kill death should be displayed i think it should they should try to do try to do something to promote rushing because it's the only way you can play the games properly otherwise yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> I don't know. It's you... Definitely the funnest way to play, and I, I wish you know this freaking hard on the the pub the Call of Duty public has for kill death ratio. You know, I wish they felt the same way about score per minute. You know, I wish oh, I wish your score per minute was the real mark of how good you are. I mean, you have people who have a four or five KD, and they you know watching their gameplays. I'd rather watch the grass grow. It's so damn boring. They sit there and head glitch for an hour. You know, it's. I'd much rather watch gameplay like yours here, where you're just constantly flying around, never stop moving, and you know, just gun on gun action. In my opinion, that's the only way to play any of these games, because I mean, if you if you're sitting in the corner, I'm, I'm gonna fall asleep. I can barely play any game. <laughs> I can barely play this game running around like this, just because I'll, it gets boring. That's why you just run around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think I definitely think score per minute should be. You know, it's obviously a more true stat statistic for determining your level of, you know, your ability. Yeah. Like, uh, that's the only thing I, like, I don't like Black Ops that much. I mean, I play it, but I don't play it that much. You know this. Mm -hmm. And um, that's why we're not watching Black Ops. But um, that's one of the only things I think they did right was how the leaderboards go based on score per minute. Yep. Yep. I agree. And I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know how people can have fun like laying in a corner with ghosts and going five and one, you know, during a whole game of team deathmatch. But at least they get their five kill death ratio. You know. Oh well, yeah. No, it was. It, it's it's stupid. I mean, and yeah, it's still a stat. But I think that should be if they have to display a stat. I think that should be it. Just kill death ratio. Oh, sorry, not just kill death. Just score per minute. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, the only the only place t uh, kill death ratio even matters is team deathmatch, and even then, you know, score yeah. per minute's still a better indicator. Yeah, and even then, score per minute will still tell you if you're getting kills or... You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or even just go, um, like, the old... I think it was GoldenEye. One of the old games, that all they did was show how many kills you got. They didn't show how many deaths you had. Yeah. Even something like that would be fine, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I mean, then you can still say, you know, I got 40 kills or 45 kills in the team deathmatch. 
but it doesn't matter how many deaths you have. The people who watch the video still know you only got, you know, whatever how many deaths it was. Yeah. But I would be totally fine with, I mean, no stats. I mean, I don't really, I'm not really a stat whore, and, you know, I would rather just have a gameplay recorded where I get 40 kills and not really worry about my overall kill-death ratio. And that's what Homefront's like, isn't it? Exactly. On PS3? PS3, you literally cannot find your statistics anywhere for Homefront. And people just rush around like crazy. It's a lot of fun when it actually works. But, you know, no statistics in Homefront. It works out pretty well. I don't hear anybody complaining about it either. And uh, that's kind of what Bright was um, getting at during the uh, podcast last week, too. Because yep. he plays on the PC, right? Yep, that's what he was saying, yep. And uh, how on the PC, there's no... I mean, they have, they have leaderboards, but... So you get into a hacked lobby so often that your your stats just get hacked anyways. Yeah. So no one cares about them. Exactly. That's a good... He says it's like a freaking heaven. <laughs> yeah. That, that sounds fun. I mean, that's enticing right there to make me, you know, almost want to go out and pick up a PC. Yeah. Just for You're that not reason. not cheap, dude. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> I have to wait a while, but... But uh, Modern Warfare 3, then. Yeah. Modern Warfare 3, that trailer came out. A lot of little hidden gems in there. A lot of information they revealed. Um, For one... That's good, dude. Stackable kill streaks for one is back, which I think is better than, uh, you know, than the way Black Ops was. It was a little slow pace in Black Ops, especially free for alls and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I mean, stackable kill streaks. I, I don't mind. I think the only issue with um, with Black Ops was the uh, freaking um, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, I don't even know, dude. I was talking to people too much. <laughs> <laughs> He's rubbing off on you. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, I can't. I can't remember. The saying. gameplay is just kind of slower in general, and you got those maps like Array and all those maps oh, that are so damn big. It's the freaking um, it's the the hit detection. Oh, the right? hit detection and, and the is fact terrible. that yeah, and the fact that uh, it takes like a thousand bullets to kill people on Black Ops. Mm -hmm. Like, where's the fun in that? Yeah, you know, it slows down the game. It really does. Yeah, it definitely does. But uh, anyways, I think I think we all can agree that the. Hit detection in Modern Warfare 3 is probably going to be better than Black Ops because uh, Modern Warfare 2 hit detection is pretty good. Oh, it's amazing. You can't you can't beat it. Yeah. And then uh, another thing we noticed about that trailer that a lot of people didn't notice is that they now have recyclable kill streaks, meaning that as soon as you get your last streak, you can automatically you know your your next streak is available for you to get again without dying, so you don't have to kill yourself in order to reset your Kill streaks. I guess they're called point streaks now. But uh, what do you think about those recyclable kill streaks? That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, there's you know, there's times like there's times when you're in a game and you're just like, all right, someone kill me. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I can get my next streak. But I mean, you don't want to kill yourself. I, I I personally don't, but I know people who do. They're like, all right, I'm just gonna find a way to die just so I can restart restart my streaks. There's there's a lot of people that do, especially if you're going for a high kill gameplay. You know, you want to get 60, 70 kills. I mean, you almost you know, intentionally give a kill away. Yeah, yeah. But uh, let me ask you this: Do you do you foresee this being a problem with both stackable streaks and recyclable streaks? I mean, couldn't you technically just get an AC-130? And I know every time you get one, you get 15, 20 kills in that sucker. You're gonna have another AC-130 by the time you get out of your first one. Maybe it only stacks for your three streaks then, because you're right. That makes sense. Someone who's who's good with uh, you know an AC-130 or even that freaking juggernaut kill streak, <laughs> yeah. that thing's gonna be a monster. Yeah. And somebody who's good with those, are just gonna they're just gonna wreck house. Yeah, exactly. So, I could see that getting a little out of hand. So, I wonder if they maybe only only cycle it. You know, maybe you can only maybe it won't work with eleven kill streaks or something like that. I could see that working, but I'm thinking if if it does, if it is in fact stackable, which it did look like there, then it would be based on um, uh, only stacking for your three streaks. Mm -hmm. And then once you restart it, it doesn't stack for those. Yeah, could be something like that. That's what it looks like to me. Yep, yep. This is an idea I had today when I was watching that trailer. I was thinking, wouldn't it be a good idea to just move UAV to a four-kill streak and then have no no counter for it, like no ghost or anything, so it's actually a little bit tougher to get a UAV, but then, you know, there's no ghost to worry about? Um, maybe. I mean, a lot of people rely on UAVs. Like, if, if you, Especially if you run into a full team on this game. Mm-hmm. Pretty much everybody run, will run a UAV, but um, I don't know. It's I don't know. See, my opinion on UAVs are weird because I don't really look at the 
at the uh, mini map that much. The only way I look at the mini map is in Black Ops when there's a Blackbird up. Otherwise, I try not to pay attention to it because mm -hmm. I just find my reactions are slower if I do that. Yeah, that's true. But I, I mean, you know, thinking back to Call of Duty Four, there was really not much you could do to get away from being up on the UAV, and really not too many people were bothered by that. No, and it was a great game because of it too. So, and I think it'd lead to more gun-on-gun -gun action too, rather than you know camping, knowing that at any moment. You know, the whole team's going to know you're sitting in that corner. So That's there's true. really no reason to sit in that corner. But. That's true. I mean, the second, like, if I'm playing Black Ops, the second the, other, and the enemy team gets a Blackbird, it's like, all right, I got to get my ass on the move. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Exactly. So. Yeah. But anyways, that's about it. Wraps up this dual com. Uh, you saw some beastly gameplay in the background that uh, I just can't deliver on my channel. <laughs> but uh, if you enjoyed that, definitely go sub to Lefty Ben's channel. It is links in the description. And Lefty, thanks for joining me. No problem. Thanks for having me on, and uh, it's good to finally get this done. Yeah, only about <laughs> after what? I don't even know. Five months, yeah, maybe a year. Who knows? It's been a long time. <laughs> well, let's schedule the next one for I don't know December. December. Sound good? Yeah, Christmas sounds good. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, we'll talk to you later. Take care. Peace.